this is May and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to teach you how to create your very own footwear in Zebeto. Now, I don't have much time to show you and teach you how to create every shoe type, but in this video, I am going to teach you how to create your very own heels. Now, uh, this video will be divided into three parts. The first part is modeling, the second part is rigging, and the third part is texturing and stuff. So yes, I'm also filming this live, so I am sorry for grammatical errors and stutters. Also, I'll be using Autodesk Maya 2022, so if you are using Blender, I hope this video could help you too. Okay? Okay. Without further ado, let's get started! Yeah! Okay, so we have right here my workspace. The first thing we'll do is, of course, drag drop our creator base set. Yes, it should be creator base set. So, drag drop. And then, once it's loaded, it looks like this. Now, the next thing you'll do is click this, click the hips, and then click this. Yeah, click this. You can see there are values here, right? Now, you have to change this part, the middle translate part. It says 53. I usually use 58. Uh, it shows how uh, tall the character would be wearing your shoes. So, let's say 58. Mm, yeah, let's use 58 instead since this is a heel. I'm going to create a kind of low one. Not sure, but you can change it. And it this will be really important later on. So yes, after that, you'll have to click this. Wait for a bit. Let me turn this off. This one. This uh, x-ray joints. So you can see the joints. Then you'll click this joint. And then click this part. Uh, rotate. The middle part will change it into, I guess, 40. Oh, that's too high. So, let's say 35. 20. Okay, I think 20 is good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> now, change the other part too into 20. Now, the next thing you'll do is click this joint and change it to negative 20. I personally like it to have same values so if you look at the fee it looks good right um, if you try to make it negative 10 oh negative 10 will look like that looks flat right so I like it uh, with the same value so change the other one right? negative 20 and now we have our base all you need to do is um, click the mask. Don't forget your values, okay? We used 58 and for this, we used 20. Now, the next step is to click the mask and click Alt-Shift-D. That means to delete the history of this mask. Now, I'll delete the hips because I won't need that now. And I will take out the mask outside this creator base set. And I'm going to delete this so everything looks clean. Now, the next thing you'll do is I personally like to duplicate it like that. So I could have a uh, backup, you know. But we won't, we won't really use that. Let's just hide it. To hide it, uh, click Ctrl H and you can hide the mask one. Now, to create the heels, I personally use my handy dandy uh, polygon plane and I stretch it like that to jump. And then I cut the. Am I right? Is the grammar right? I cut the mask. Well, I'm going to make heels, so I'll cut here. Then delete the excess part. And then, as you can see, it's now. It's now like that now the next thing we'll do is we will change our perspective so i need the top perspective oh wait so I'll drag drop here top perspective and then you can just zoom in or zoom out 
but I am going to resize this plane like that okay now we'll have to trace it using the knife tool we will trace that <clears throat> the outline of the feet this will be our base for our heel now don't worry I won't do any skips you can skip this if you want but I won't skip anything so you could see what I am doing if you could not click the points you can just zoom in and ta -da! you can now click it uh, it depends on you if you want to have allowance but I personally don't like it so yes you can skip if you would want right here I am just you know guessing the points because something is covering it you can lower it I mean you can cut the mask adjust this to click this no 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 yeah close it like that and then after cutting it just click enter and then let's change perspective once again so I am going to drag drop this perspective here now let's select oh wait okay let's select all the things inside just click one then shift and click other faces oh wait let me just click this okay now that i clicked everything just uh click Control shift then i that means invert and then delete now you have this uh feet base the next thing you'll do is to move it upwards to the feet towards the feet doesn't matter if it looks like that as long as the sizing is nice okay now look that like, looks like that the next thing you'll do is I guess it depends on you if you would want to use f9 for vertex or f10 for edges I personally use edges because it gives me I don't know maybe a uh, specific angle now next thing you'll do is click B then maybe um, long press B and then click your pointer on the mouse and then drag to make the influence higher then we'll move it upwards like that okay we can fix that don't worry so I'm just going to rotate this one like this so I could reach the heel part a bit okay now we'll have to click this middle lower the influence oops it's too low there you go now we have the base for the heels now you can just keep adjusting this so it would be something you would like now I think this is quite large so let's go into wireframe mode where is our wireframe okay. f8 and i'm going to make this part thinner since you know heels usually does that going to add influence and maybe that's good that looks sexy for your feet <laughs> right feet uh i mean heels looks like that right okay now after that after doing that i think We'll have to make this part a little bit sexier too. There you go. Now we have our base for the heels. The next thing you'll do is click F11. Wait, my, my nose is itchy. Okay, click F11. Click B to uh, make this normal. <laughs> I lost my English words. Anyways, so you'll have to click Control e to thicken this stuff look uh maybe 0.5 is 0.5 good yeah 0.5 is good but i like it 0.6 i guess then double click and then kind of drag it down like that 
Now, our base looks like that. See? Now, we have our base. Then, we'll use knife tool and add vert. I mean, add lines on the side. Uh, you can do this by clicking control and doing this. I mean, pointing your pointer to a part of the plane. I'm sorry for my English. I just woke up a few minutes ago. <laughs> so yes, add lines on this side. And then F9. And then kind of uh, resize this part. Make it a little bit larger. So it's kind of round. Yes. Now let's see. Now let's see if this looks better. Let's see if this looks better. Okay. If I do smooth. It usually depends on the footwear on. Does it look better or do you want the pointy part? But for me, this looks kind of better, right? And it's only 342 faces. So I guess we'll stick to this part. I mean to this one. Now the next thing we'll do is... Um, we'll have to thicken this part. So F11... We'll thicken this. Yeah. But it will be difficult, I guess. Let me go back. And uh, use the rough part since this is easier to maneuver. We can always smooth it for later. Then we'll move this down. Words. Like that. Now we can move this. Um towards there, towards here, so it would look better, like this, you can always add vertex point, so you won't have to worry, and I guess control Z is really your best friend, you can add here, let's add one here, okay, and then let's move it towards here, this so it would look a little bit thinner yes it looks better and then just click f11 once again and let's move the heel part like that or maybe we could add line here first right okay now f11 click all this stuff and then drag it down now, as you can see, it's um, kind of arc, in arc. So, we'll click R and then rotate it. Oh, no. I mean E. Sorry. <laughs> Letter E. And then move it down. I think my voice is changing a bit. Okay. Now, that looks better. We'll just need to edit the vertex quite a bit. Make it a little bit like that there you go now we have the base for our heel now we can just uh, add another vertex here and then maybe smoothen it let's see how it looks like oh no it looks ugly let's try doing this on the lower part oh no. did I do it like that this and like this. Oh no. Wrong. Okay. F11. Let's try to smoothen it out. Oh, that looks better. Now we have our heel base. And the next part is doing that stuff. What do you call that? Like the. the <laughs> now to do that, toot, we'll need to use cylinder. Our handy dandy cylinder make it large personally like uh, cutting this like this f11 delete all the excess part oh no delete this and this and then this wait my nose is itchy again sorry sorry okay now move it right here and then rotate it rotate it and then move it down resize it 
move it down once again and we'll add it right here yes now let's delete excess parts mm -hmm. and then move it down f10 for this side like this one and rotate it so it would fit like that okay just move it down like that okay then E, oh no, like this, oh wait, 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 let me push it here first before rotating it, I guess, oh yeah, and then move it down, after that, let's add a line here, and here also, then F10, then move it in, John, a bit downwards, there's part 2. Okay. Now we can adjust this. Thing in there. And F9. Adjusting here. And do, do the same thing right here. So, yes. Okay. Now, after that. Wait, let me adjust this one too. Now, you'll have to keep adjusting, of course, because you would want your shoe to look better. Okay. Let's not mind that first. We're gonna smooth it anyway, so just do a rough modeling on here. Okay. Now, click F11, double-click the part, then mesh, and then smooth. Now, after that, click any part of the face the part and then click B uh, edit the influence it should not be that big wait wait, wait. F11 F11 then B click this part okay look at the influence it does not affect this so that's good let me move it right here and then this one to right here now let's move this upwards and jump okay now let's control e this one point two to make it double sided and then resize it again oops oops oops, oops. command size it like that okay now you can um add li add line on this part uh this outer part but for me, I'd like it sharp. So, that's fine for me. And this is already a basic heel. Now, the next thing you'll do is uh, merge this to mesh combine. I'll shift D to delete the history. Uh, right click and then assign new material. Uh, Lambert. And then rename it to shoe. Okay? Then after that, we'll have to click mesh. And then mirror. Now we have two pairs of heels. Now this is just a basic heel because I don't want the video to be too long. So the modeling is up to there. I am going to film the second part of the video. So yes, as always, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye!